Do you love barbecue sauce? If you do, you're going to love this one from Big Daddy Hills Barbecue. This is his Honey Habanero Stingin' Sweet Barbecue Sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back again with another hot and spicy product review. Now today I have a barbecue sauce. Now I first reviewed for this company back in 2015 and since then they have come out with some new products and uh, revamped a few things. This is from Big Daddy Hills Barbecue. And this one I'm reviewing today is the Honey Habanero Stinging Sweet barbecue sauce now these products were sent to me from the owner the creator behind this awesome company that i think really started getting going back in 2014 uh, mr lee hill there's a picture of lee and his beautiful family they uh, are living out in west jordan utah let me go ahead and read what it says on their website veteran owned experienced the best barbecue flavors from around the globe now they do have a caution on their website so you need to listen to this it says use of big daddy hills barbecue products is highly addictive and may cause other habits to form such as excessive smoking but smoking in a good way right barbecue all right well he's got a lot of different of uh, sauces and I think he has a tremendous amount of dry rubs and and they just look amazing. I'm going to be reviewing some of those too, so uh, stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. This is a nice 18 ounce size plastic bottle. Big Daddy Hills Barbecue, new look, same great taste. Here's what it says on the side. I'm going to read it from my phone. It makes it a little bit easier. It says pairs with, it's got the uh, icons here for uh, beef, pork, chicken and fish gluten-free no msg no high fructose corn syrup that is awesome it says we combine the fruity flavored habanero pepper and floral sweetness of honey to make a nice balance of sweet and heat use this sauce on everything from ribs and chicken to chicken wings i also like it on grilled pineapple and layered over grilled and smoked ham Ooh, i bet that would be good Okay, well, here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Uh, we start off with tomato puree. Then we have vinegar, molasses, brown sugar, honey, spices, includes garlic and onion, habanero peppers, salt, natural smoke flavor, and xanthan gum. All right, veteran owned. That is awesome. I believe Lee was in the Air Force. Just check out this, guys. Look at that dark color. Now this is a type of barbecue sauce that's not super, super thick. And it's not like a vinegar based mop sauce that's very popular where I live here in um, South Carolina. Actually, we have many different types of barbecue sauces that are popular here in South Carolina, mainly on the east coast of both north and south is where the vinegar based mop sauce is just super, super thin, but that is so good to get down into the meat as it's a smoking and uh, cooking so it's just awesome I like all different types of uh, barbecue sauces you probably heard me say this before if you watched any of my reviews on barbecue sauces I like the thick ones the Kansas City style or the St. Louis style or the Texas style I like the vinegar thin mop sauces I like the um, the rich uh, sweet tomato based uh, mainly you know type of barbecue sauces but I also love what's popular here in South Carolina and that is the uh, mustard barbecue sauce and the Alabama white sauce can't leave that one out I reviewed some of those recently but let's go ahead and get into this one love that dark rich color I love honey and I love habanero peppers so let's go ahead and smell this one Ooh, it smells good you can smell you get the aroma of you know that recognizable aroma of a barbecue sauce with the tomato and the, and the smokiness but you also can pick up on the notes from the honey. It smells really, really good. Just like he says, the floral honey notes. Oh, this smells good. Doesn't smell overly smoky. You can smell the sweetness that's in here. You can smell that, um, the molasses. Yeah, the molasses that's in here. Doesn't smell overly hot. Might be picking up on a little bit of spiciness from the 
the habanero peppers that are in here, but you're really getting that um, honey sweetness, the tomato, and the um, smokiness a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and show you what this one looks like. You gotta be careful. Ooh, doesn't that look good? All right, here we go. You normally don't do barbecue sauce like this straight up, but we got to do it to review it, right? Here we go. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Sweet, not overly sweet, but you get the honey sweet. This one's going to be focused on honey because that's the name of it. That's what it's doing. But nice tomato flavor, tomato puree type flavor. Nice smokiness. You get the garlic and the onion. You get that richness, that sweet richness, the molasses uh, from a barbecue sauce. And now you're slowly getting that sting of the habanero peppers, but it's not overly, it's not up front. It's not uh, done too much. Um, they've got this one, I guess he's saying this one's hot. It doesn't really have a number rating on here, but uh, it's registering to me maybe like a four, maybe a low four out of 10 for heat. Um, I think you really ate a lot of this. And, you're really going to begin to feel more of the sting and the fire and the burn of the habanero peppers. But delicious hot sauce. Really, really good. If you love, I love the honey flavor in this one. It's super good. Now, here's what I did with this one, guys. I used um, one of his other products, uh, his honey chipotle dry rub on some uh, boneless, skinless chicken. I had that, and uh, then I topped it with the... Uh, honey habanero barbecue sauce and that was really super delicious so um i highly recommend his products guys check him out at bigdaddyheels.com that link will be down in the description so check out his products he's got a lot of dry rubs he's got a lot of different sauces as well so i think you'll you'll uh, if you're into barbecue if you're into smoking i think you're really going to enjoy his products so uh, make sure you check it out Lee, thank you so much for sending it. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.